I'd like to welcome you to a new Canadian innovation called It's Great for the Team. So why is it great for the team? Let me share a couple of our belief systems with you. We believe that everyone deserves a safe, healthy environment. And we also believe that good health is achieved through physical fitness. And finally, we believe that people must be informed. It's Great for the Team is a community fundraising initiative that will support amateur sports, change the smell of the game, and reduce the risk of transmitting disease. So let's talk about tackling the big issue. Let's face it. Sports equipment stinks. But why? You know, some people, they, they just give up. They just think it's the smell of the game. And a lot of people think, in fact, most people think, well, it's just the smell of sweat. It will probably surprise most people to know that human sweat has very little odor. So back to the big question. Why does hockey equipment stink? And to find out, we took some stinky hockey equipment to Biolenia Laboratories in Toronto, Canada, and we consulted with the experts. Biolenia Laboratories tested the equipment, and after swabbing and an incubation period of two to five days, well, we had the results. It was pretty scary. This was what was growing in the hockey gloves. The neck guard the helmet, and it's little wonder that athletes often have breakouts on their face. Of course, we have the jock strap, leaving the very best for last, the sole of the skate. And we have quite a variety of fungus, yeasts, molds, and bacteria growing inside a hockey skate. Yeah, after looking at that, you'd want to run away. We believe that all parents should be aware that when it stinks, it's not sweat. It's potentially harmful bacteria and fungi. So let's just review a few facts. First of all, the smell that we consider sweat is actually the chemicals produced when bacteria and fungi feed off all the dead human skin cells. Bacteria can in fact double its population size every 20 minutes in warm, moist environments, like hockey arenas. And of course, there are many different types of bacteria, fungi, yeasts, molds that exist in hockey and sports equipment. There's some very big downsides to this situation with bacteria, fungi, and viruses being present in sporting facilities and also in equipment. First and foremost, there's some very harmful strains of bacteria now present around the world. One of them is MRSA, and we will be touching on this a little later in the presentation. In addition to that, a, a less serious situation, but something to take into consideration because sporting equipment is very expensive. Bacteria and fungus and molds, they rot sporting equipment, and they also pose that health risk. So something that we're trying to bring to everyone's attention is the idea that to break the circle of infection, what we all have to do is work together to reduce the levels of bacteria and other pathogens to a non-infectious level. So how does all this affect you? Well, let's look at the transmission of disease and how this all happens on a day-to-day -day basis. So you're out playing hockey and you're putting your hockey skates on. Well, within the hockey skates, you can see on this particular slide uh, an electron microscope blown up picture of the fungus in the skate. Now the fungus gets on your hands and you go home and you make a sandwich. And then you wonder why your bread is molding. If you look at this slide, you'll see again an electron microscope blown up picture of tinea. That is the fungus that causes athlete's foot. You step with your bare foot into the shower and there you are. Here is the cycle of most mouth guards. Into the mouth, out of the mouth into the hockey bag, and back into the mouth. Electron microscope picture of candida which is thrush, located in the mouth guard, into the mouth, and look at the tongue. Hockey gloves filled with Staphylococcus bacteria. You have a little cut on your finger, and it results in an infection. In one year, more people in North America die from staph infections than HIV, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. So let's look at some scary stuff. You know that nasty smelling sports equipment? Well, it's an ideal breeding ground for ringworm, epitago, staph infection, 
Norwalk virus, jock itch, athlete's foot. What we're looking at here is MRSA, a superbug, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. And this is a CBC's news health alert that was put out to the public. MRSA, when it is outside of the body, is very easy to kill. But once it gets inside the bloodstream, it's very difficult to kill because it is resistant to antibiotics. It makes people very, very ill and can be fatal. So let's just take a minute to review our problem. Bacteria, molds, and yeast grow in sports arenas and sports equipment. This situation poses a significant health risk and it stinks. But here's our solution. It's great for the team. Kill the stink. And when we say kill the stink, we mean kill the stink. Don't freshen it up, don't flower it up. Now let me ask you this. Can your air freshener kill this? Well, first of all, we are definitely not an air freshener. Air fresheners use a lot of water to dilute a stink molecule, and then they capture that stink molecule in an active ingredient called beta-cyclodextrin. This blocks the stink from your nose receptors, so you don't really know what you're smelling. The bacteria and the fungi are alive and thriving. So we want to introduce you to It's Great for the Team products manufactured by Microlium Professional Disinfection, a company that's established in the field of infection control since 1994, located in Toronto, Canada, fully compliant with FDA good manufacturing practice, sanctioned by the World Wildlife Fund. And this is the very first time a hospital grade disinfectant product is available for home use. Our tagline is kinder, safer, faster disinfecting power. And it kills the stink. And we have some bragging rights. According to EPA standards, we have the fastest kill times in the world. If you look to the right of the screen, you'll see a 20,000 magnification of bacteria under an electron microscope. The dark halo that you see surrounding the organisms is in fact our product, creating an osmotic effect and killing the bacteria. So let's talk about the kill list. Fungus, molds, bacteria, yeasts, viruses, HIV, Norwalk virus, Staphylococcus, the common cold, influenza, parvovirus for the pet lovers, ringworm, salmonella, E. coli, Candida albicans, which is thrush, C. difficile, you hear a lot about it in the news, MRSA, the superbug, tuberculosis, which is a hospital benchmark organism. If you can kill TB, you can kill anything. H1N1, and there's a lot more, we just couldn't put it all up here on the screen. So how safe is our product? It begs the question, if it kills the microbugs, will it kill me? Well, the answer is no. Our products are safe enough to take a bath in. You can use them around your pets and your babies. Pregnant women do not have to wear masks or gloves. Our products carry registered Health Canada DIN numbers. They are all fully biodegradable and safe for the earth. This program is set up as a fundraising initiative. So team members can raise money by promoting It's Great for the Team products to family, friends, and coworkers. Everyone can kill the stink and reduce their health risk by breaking the circle of infection. 10% of every purchase goes back in support of the team. So just a brief recap of our goals. Infection prevention, reduce risk, kill the stink and save your nose, and 10% of every purchase goes back to the team. Introducing the All About You products. Let's start off with clean hands. Protect your hands and protect your gloves with Glove Guard Waterless Cleaner. Followed by Barrier Defense Cream. Barrier Defense Cream combines a wax-like consistency with a disinfectant antiseptic to protect various body parts. It can be used on the chest for runners, it can be used in the groin area, it can be used on the feet, and of course on the hands. Protect your mouth with Mouth Off. This is for mouth guards orthodontic appliances, dentures. For equipment and surfaces, spray, spray, spray with our Biotext Out of Odor Spray. And finally, and probably one of the most important products that we carry is our Jock and Jill Laundry Odor Packets. Kill the stink. When using our products, the most important thing to remember when killing both the stink and infectious microorganisms is that you must make contact. 
And again, this is the first time ever hospital grade disinfection products are available for home use. So let's have a look at the products. In the center we have mouth off, kissing sweet, great for your breath, use it on your dentures, mouth guard, sleep apnea appliances, orthodontic appliances. On the right, glove guard, hand cleaner, not only protects your hands, but prevents glove rot. And on the left, our barrier defense cream, antiseptic barrier protection for all over the body. Jock and Jill, laundry odor packets for any kind of sporting equipment, dry fit, and it will also refresh your washing machine. Biotext, out of odor spray, available in the convenient five liter bag in a box, can be used on all surfaces, can be used on all equipment. There are so many versatile uses for these products. You can use them for any kind of sporting equipment. You can use them for stinky shoes. You can use them for pet odors. You can use them to disinfect your home and also your workplace. Well, let's just see how well our wash and spray performed against the bacteria and the fungi we found in the hockey equipment. The hockey gloves. The neck guard. The helmet. The jock strap. And the sole of the skate. It's great for the team products aren't just for equipment. In fact, our team went to a modern arena in Ontario and we obtained samples of what was growing in that arena. Now, of course, the arena looked really clean. So here are the results. This is what was growing on the shower room floor. So you can imagine stepping on that with an open wound. So we discovered that even though the arena personnel were working hard to keep the environment clean, their products were not working hard. So we decided to help them with our products. And here are the results. Ta-da! We benched that stench and we killed the stink at the rink. And they were officially out of odor. And that's why it's great for the team.